All right, so back to this. Again, you know, second part. And we're really just continuing on. Still haven't reached an ending yet. Going by the first game, once we do reach an ending, we should see not only how many endings there are, but any are potential, like, extras. Um, Again, we're kind of going the... What the fuck just happened? Hold on. Wait. So, because here... get Go back here, right? So, okay, here we go. Because remember, we ended with kind of... I, I don't want to say realization or revelation, because I think it was fairly obvious... That Nicole is just basically taking advantage of Ari. Um, that's I feel like that's not a surprise given not only Nicole's character, but also given how Ari opened up to her. You know, it was like, you know, and, and that's why, like, you know, when you open up like that, that just puts you in a vulnerable and a potential exploitative position, which is really what's going on here. Um, again, you know, so. Damn, if only these class of 08, 09 grads knew how uh, crazy 2016 would be. I was in high school in 26. I was what, a sophomore. Yeah, I was a sophomore when 2016 was going down. So, you know, uh, if only y'all knew how it would be then. I like I think 2016 was really kind of the obviously 2020 with COVID. But like 2016 and that like election was kind of when it's like, all right, shit's getting real. Like, you know, it's like uh, where it's like, damn, shit's kind of crazy. Because it's not even that Trump won, right? It was just the nature of the entire, like, election fucking cycle. Like, and everything that kind of went on playing up into that. And my parents, and actually even myself, we were like Bernie supporters. But they, they jumped on board with Hillary. But, you know, some of uh, us uh, jumped shit, right? You know, but besides the point. But something to where, yeah, you know, if only these 08 guys knew. Again, you know, and this is where we're seeing Nicole basically take advantage of Iron, right? You know. And this is crazy because, like, in school, there'd always, and obviously we know Nicole's just basically manipulating Iron, right? And using and abusing her. But there would always be that fucking couple in school that always had PDAs, public displays of affection, right? Where it's like, I mean, come on, like, okay, I'm not even gonna lie, a peck on the cheek or like a hug, like, shit like that isn't too bad, but I swear there'd be, like, people fucking, like, making out, and it'd be like, come on, dude, really, like, you know, I'm trying to, like, go get lunch or, like, go to an art class, it's like, do y'all, are y'all, like, really don't have anything better to do, like, you know, that shit you can do on your own time, you know, it's like, you don't gotta do it at school, like, yeah. Damn, freaking, you know, yeah, dude. No, it's honestly on Nicole, right? Okay, this is a revelation. Okay, because I was going to say, like, Let's put it this way. Dating in, like, within a week? Okay. Because I don't even want to say seeing you naked it's like, crazy. Because, like, but it's kind of more like, uh, like, damn, you already had her, like, in the, mm, yeah, I once, honestly, it's also, oh, okay, I was going to say guys, like, you know, doing, but it's also, like, you know, all right, so, like, fucking, like, let's, let's put it this way. So, I did wrestling in high school, right? We'd always shower naked. Um, so me, like me and the guys, Brian, obviously, like I, I say obviously, but you wouldn't know. Um, but just I'm not gay, so there was never like a sexual attraction there. And even I did know people who were gay, but even for them, it was just like you know we're fucking dirty after practice. We just got to shower and get clean, right? You know. But like when it when it comes to like you know, I guess if you weren't, or definitely if I did do that, like it'd be like weird as shit to me. But also it's like. Just again, I guess kind of within you're already like in each other's like rooms and, you know, like changing in front of each other, especially it's weird because, and again, Nicole, this is why I don't really feel even though, you know, I, I feel bad circumstances wise, right? Because she is a victim of what she went through, but like she's not a good person because it, it's weird because she'll do shit like that. But then like, you know, 
basically use abuse and manipulate her. Even though, I mean, the fact that she just changed in front of her, you know, seemingly without like a uh, reserve, right? It's like either it's like some Makima level timing, which I don't think is what's going on here. More so just, I guess, kind of just, what, what would you call it? Maybe uh, bipolar? I don't know. So, yeah, like Jekka actually brings a point here, like not even going to lie. So, it, again, you know, well, Jekka brings up a good point, but it's also like if she was that conceited about her own, like, you know, sexuality, like, she'd probably like get with either fake it or just like, you know, maybe she's by, you know, again, or the point Jekka brings up that's just, it's easy, you know, I guess. Cause let's put it this way, you know, there's, I'd say a higher, there's a higher market for like females and like women when it comes to like dating and shit, right. than like males. So again, or yeah, I said that right. Because, again, you know, you can basically pick whoever you – well, I don't want to say you can pick her. That's kind of crazy. But it, it's more so just like there's inherently like less females, right, You know, or like less women, you know, available than men, right? So it's like, you know, the, the ratio and the way it works out, right, is that like, again, you know, it's something to where it's like, uh, yeah, there's just inherently more of an option or more of a choice there, right? Uh, based off that i'm not gonna go and take the next step and say shit like oh yeah because some people will say like oh yeah women find like 70 percent of guys below average or so like people will like say some like crazy shit and pull shit out of their ass you know where they'll say like oh yeah you know but it's also like and then that strives into a territory of like territory of like oh women want the 666 right you know six foot six pack abs six inches or six figures i guess that's quad sixes but it's not even really about that, more so just the ratio. Like, just if there's more men and less women, you know, you just, and especially when it comes to like, you know, what would you call it? Um, I will say when it comes to like baseline, you know, the baseline for men is generally lower than women. So again, but that also comes mostly from that ratio. But again, you know, the point being like, there, there's a reason why, you know, she's new to, I guess, women, right, versus men. You know, but there would also be reason why she would have gone with men. So, you know. Damn, freaking nine lives. Not fucking falling asleep, you know. I think the target shirt is crazy, not gonna lie. But again, and this is also like, because... The, also, fucking, because the point I want to make is that, again, it's kind of like, it's also, because the, the point I brought up earlier in the last part was that, I mean, Kelly, like, fucking Ari's still white, you know, she's still a white woman. Let, let's be real here, right? And it talked about how making kind of uh, your sexuality, your personality, and an attempt to overwrite that whiteness, you know, but now I guess Kelly brings up another point to where it's like, oh, uh, you know, again, where it's like, oh, you know, now I'm... Uh, you know, uh, you know, I might be, you know, gay, right? You know, I might be like quirky or whatever, you know, where she's like, oh, you know, I see the appeal, right? You know, where it's like, I too am an ally, you know, but it, but it's something there to where it's like, uh, yeah, you know, all of a sudden you gotta be like friends and like suck up to them, which funny enough, Nicole as her girlfriend isn't even doing that. She's like still basically like manipulating her, right? You know, so and she's like, oh, no, no, no. Like, you know, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. I thought, wasn't she trying to work for the police? Damn, freaking dude. She's like, bro, I just need a bag of rich, man. Like, here's damn, you know. What? What are you fucking talking about? On the phone? She's not on her phone. Damn, she, damn, what the fuck? Dude, this is actually crazy. Bro. <sighs> Bro, and again, dude, because Nicole doesn't realize this because she actually thought she like fucked up, but she doesn't realize that because of what she's done and how she's treated Ari, Ari views it as herself and that she, again, you know, she was kind of the problem there, you know, uh, or that she is the one at fault, even though it's very clearly not the case, right? Yeah, given what Nicole's been doing and how she's been treating her. Again, she's like, huh? 
Dude, yeah, Nicole really just has her in the bag, so. Dude, I swear this is going to end with either fucking Nicole or, or, yeah, Nicole, she's realizing how much power she has. Bro, dude, all right, now Nicole, she she's realizing the position she's in. She just basically has, like, a slave, you know, uh, freaking, you know. All she needs to do is just embrace that side, which she wasn't willing to do before. But once she realized, you know, again, those benefits, right, that she can reap from that, you know. Yeah, it's like. Damn, dude. Yeah, it's like, shut up, bitch. There's no way it's that specific. She ain't no way she's got to pay him back. Dude, this is like, oh my God, bro. This gaslighting, this fucking manipulation going on. Damn, fat ass. Holy shit. What the fuck? Oh, all right. Kind of facts. Not even gonna lie. Dude. Dude, this is fucking crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. This is like. Dude, this is like, <laughs> dude, dude, this is eyes in, this is eyes in level, uh, manipulation tactics. Dude, this is actually crazy. Cause like Nicole has done this with other people before, but nobody she's ever officially been with. So like, dude, this is actually, yeah, bro, this is literally abuse. Like, Dude, this is the, probably the craziest moment we've had in these two games this yet. Yeah, bro, dude, Nicole's really got her in the bag here. Like, and she knows it, so. Hey, who's that? We don't know who this is. We've never heard of this before. Yeah, dude, she's like, you're just playing evil. Also, again, you know, but wait, hold on. Also, she can just break up and go single, but I guess the war, because she's been outward about her sexuality. So it's not like anyone else doesn't know. But obviously, the worry is that Nicole may spin it in a different way because, again, she's like, actually, this is probably the worst. I'm going to be 100% honest. Out of everything in this game, this is probably the worst thing Nicole's done in the entirety of the original, as well as this. And Nicole's done some pretty terrible things, like driving people to suicide. But, like, this is, I debate, like, the worst thing that we've seen Nicole done thus far. So. Damn, that's crazy. Damn. Bro, and but the counselor doesn't know Nicole's the one in power here, right? Oh no, he's planning he's planning the idea in Ari's mind that you know Nicole may not have her best, you know, interest at heart, right? You know, which obviously we know goes far beyond that with uh the abuse, right? The manipulation, but all it, it's a small step. It's about the small steps. It's about the process for Ari, right? Recognizing that, you know. And also, again, you know, the fact that Nicole are, is in these sessions with Ari and knows, you know, kind of, I don't want to say her deepest, darkest secrets, but what she's going through. And again, can really kind of use that against her. Like, for a lack of a better term, Nicole really is already by the balls here, you know. Bitch, when was this? What year is this? Damn, that's crazy. Wait until she sees modern day Kanye. Ooh, Lord, who fucking knows?
uh, is like the German national anthem. But she is gay. And again, that's the, yeah. But again, Ari knows she can't, you know. And again, he's going to say abuse comes in many forms. Literally, literally. You know, and again, you know, Ari's going to realize, you know, what kind of, you know, uh, control that Nicole has over her. Damn, bro. Freaking in again. But all it takes is planning that idea in Ari's mind for her to kind of realize, you know, that, wait, maybe Nicole doesn't have a best interest in mind. What the fuck, bitch? Chinese factory? What the fuck? Because clearly she's realizing that Nicole, you know, doesn't actually like like her. No, like. Because she's actually gaining something from his sessions. Yeah. Again, right? The control she has over her. He's also a marathon player. Okay, five guys, you know. Kind of facts. Bro, but she doesn't get the money. Like, what the fuck? And again, I was going to say that fucking, you know. It, it's it's a bad look from him coming from him but also you know again it's obviously we know there's truth so is she gonna kill herself now that actually be pretty crazy dude that actually be crazy if that's the ending we get that actually be all right one so clearly it didn't happen I don't fucking know, dude. That's fucking just... Yeah, that's just fucking compressed air, right? Unless I'm just tripping. Bro must work for the... What is it? The geek? The fucking... Damn, that's... Yeah, it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, she's straight. Whew, thank God. You know? Damn. Like, dude. Like, but, dude, I swear, people be like. Yeah, just enjoying the little things, you know? Ari? Bro, she's like, I got a restraining order against you. Well, it's only the two of them. Also, like, they broke up. So it's like, you know, I wouldn't expect uh, her to show up. So. No. Dude, she got an our girlfriend? Oh, my. There's no fucking way. Dude, so she is by Is Hunter. Bro, what the fuck is on sure? Is that fucking on Cena? Huh? All right.
Hey, that's a W for Ari. This is a W for Ari. She actually has someone who's going to treat her nice. Did she fake it? That'd actually be crazy. Dude. So she just couldn't get... All right, here's the story. She. This is going to sound crazy. She just couldn't get dick, so she turned gay. You know, there... Let's put it this way. There are some guys who would do the inverse, but that's that's what this is telling me. All right, never mind. I lied. I was... Okay, this is what logic is about to be pulled here. This is going to be some crazy logic. So you're still – what? So you're still a lesbian. Yeah, wait, that doesn't answer the question. What the fuck? Okay, and in kind of what Ari means by this here, damn, I sounds like a man's playing hard as shit. But because here, here's the thing, right? Because her experience with Nicole kind of tainted her, per especially if she's she's only had, what, I guess two relationships with women, and both of them ended up horribly. So for her, it's not that she doesn't like them. It's just it's not really as feasible, and it's something to where even if she isn't, you know, straight or bi, right, I guess in her mind, dating a guy is still like – it, it, since I guess it is still kind of the norm and expected, if let's say her parents don't know, it's something to where they're still, there's still, I guess, reason enough to do that, even though she'll never fully be invested in that, right? So, like, for example, Hunter actually treating her like, you know, a human being, something she hasn't really had when dating women. Because the big thing is, like, let's put it this way, you know, I guess when some guys, you know, date girls and or get taken advantage of, or even the inverse, it really goes both ways. You know, you just say, oh, you know, I had one bad experience, you know, I can't really risk getting hurt again, which is what the situation is here. You know, so it, it's something to where it's like, you know, at the end of the day, Nicole is kind of to thank for that, right, you know? All right, kind of, dude, that's kind of, yeah, unironically, like, that actually is kind of crazy. Dude, that's literally what you did. No, the other is pretty fucking bad, you know, because, like, the I, that's actually a good question. What's worse? Being homophobic or being an actual fucking abuser? Like, I guess the question is how much you're doing with your homophobia. Because if you just don't like gay people, but you're just like, I guess, closet home, that's that sounds crazy. But if you're just, you know, go about your life, then it's not like you're not actually doing anything to anyone. But if you're like actually legit like abusing people like Nicole did, you know, uh Because again, nope. And again, Nicole, I think, and this is something where Jekka has not only realized, but I think what she's starting to try to do and get Nicole to realize is just, again, how bad of a person she is, you know? That's the problem, you know? She's still white, though. Hey, hold on. Wait a second. We have not seen a single fucking black person in this game. I just realized that. We have not seen a single fucking black person in this game. No non-white people. Bitch, this game, this is a fucking ethno state. What the fuck? Like, and again, you know, I think it really takes, oh my god, we got an ending. Damn, bro. And look how unamused Nicole looks here. Look at her finger paint. Jesus Christ, finger paint, fingernails. I've had like three drinks.
That's a crazy fucking statement. Hey, whoa. No, you were just venting. So, all right, new message. So let's also was one out of seven. So I thought you were, so one out of seven with one video. Interesting that every time I miss you, I remind myself it's exclusively for the sex and I can pay for that. Jesus Christ. For the sex and I can pay for that. So bitch, you're not priced. It's not even close. Call me for to be sorry, all right, whatever. There's only seven endings. That's kind of crazy. Also, hold on. Did didn't I'm pretty sure we had a choice. Am I tripping or did we have a choice and I kind of fucked it up? I think I did. I wish I could skip. I, I will – oh, my God. I clicked off on, like – also, I'm – so I, I do think – I'm not even going to lie. I do think it's kind of – what would you call it? I do think it's – it's a bit interesting that there's only seven possible endings and that one of them is dedicated to just being gay and break it. So it literally does just end there, right? So then what is this last choice? Make a gay girl cry. So – Dude, she, oh my god, now she's actually legit gonna kill herself. Like, that is, I'm not even gonna lie, like, but it's also like, because here, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? You know, when it comes to that, right, it's like, because if you t ask them if they're gay, the question it begs is why the fuck they would be asking you, right? And really, like, basically the question we begged in the line of thinking that eventually leads to is, like, the, the only assumption would be that they have feelings for you, that they themselves are, you know, gay, right? Or have, you know, whatever orientation and that they have feelings for you. Like, there is kind of no other assumption to be made there. So, again, the bigger thing, so I'm, I'm not agreeing with Nicole here. Like, the bigger thing is that just tell them, you know, how you feel, right? You know, and that's something to where it's like, so that's not this, like, gaming system of, oh, are you gay? No? Oh, well, never mind then. It's like, well, what the fuck do you mean never mind, right? You know, it's like, the 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 bigger thing is just you get that off your chest. Tell them how you feel, you know? Damn, freaking, well, we know what you would do for her, you know? Crazy statement. Oh, my God, bro. Yes. Uh, not necessarily, you know. Yeah, that's why I'm like, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump in the gun here. Oh my god. I touch oh my god, dude. I Jesus Christ. I that is something oh my god. Cause I normally hate when people do this, but it's been fucking forever since I've heard about the eye touch. When was my last time? I had the fucking eye touch is so fucking crazy. It's literally just an iPhone without fucking, you know, internet capability. Like Fucking eye touch. Yeah.
okay, crazy tactics, but I feel like, at, like, all right, this is going to sound crazy. I feel like as a girl, that's more acceptable than a guy. Because, like, let's put it this way. You know, guys, they make, like, let's put it this way. Guys will make a fuck ton of, like, gay jokes, but they'll never actually, like, act gay. Like, you know, they okay, you know, I say that, but then the wrestling team does some weird shit. Uh, nothing illegal or like, like, you know, I, I need to clarify. Sorry, I've been, I've been drinking. Oh my God. Nothing actually like illegal or like, you know, that would warrant investigation. But you know, the, the thing there with guys, right. Especially sports teams is they, they will like, let's put it this way. They will act gay. Right. Or, you know, like, but it seems like women will do more actual, like, gay shit without being gay. I know this probably sounds like it makes zero sense, but it makes sense in my mind. But, they, like, they will do more, like, like some of the stuff to where, like, guys will do shit and people will be like, oh, that's gay, that's gay, right? Women will do, like, it will be more normal for them. So, granted, still, like, on, like, basically just sending new pics of yourself to other people, right? You know, that would be more versus like if guys were sending dick pics to our guys, right? You know. Rotation for fucking what? Um, you know. Damn. Never heard of it. Milkshakes? Jesus fucking Christ. I remember that. That's horrible rain. That's literally like 30%. No. Yeah. It's self-selecting. I wouldn't know. I've actually never heard of that fucking movie. Okay, The Godfather is kind of good, though. It, again, it's different target audiences. Let's put it this way, you know. Like, different, different target audiences. Like, people don't recognize, like, you just might not be in the target audience of something. Like... the fuck are you talking about it it's nicole oh my god bro and but also so ironically in a twist of fate ari now has uh power over nicole right because she can just you know kind of spin the narrative in terms of like oh you know, to be fair, Nicole did act like a complete asshole to Ari. But obviously, Ari can portray it as more of a, oh, she won't go out with me because she hates, you know, uh, lesbians. Which, again, it, it's a weird thing, right? Like, I mean, let's put it this way. Well, obviously, I'm a straight dude, right? It would be weird to date a lesbian because that would, pro like, it just, they would, because the question is, why the fuck are they dating me, Right. You know, um, or like someone who's bi, that would still be kind of weird in my eyes because it's like, all right, you know, I guess you're willing to date men, but then it's more of like a, all right, do you actually like me or are you just like more like, all right, you know, just willing to, right? You know, if like, let's say you swing more towards woman. Um, but like, again, like if a gay dude asked me out, like, I'd be like, sorry, man, like I'm not gay. Like, you know, if I'm flattered, you know. <laughs> But, like, I'm not gay, right? You know, it's it's something to where it's, like... But, like, again, and obviously... But I'm not an asshole, right? I'm not like Nicole, so, you know, I wouldn't need to worry about it. But, like, Nicole, she doesn't realize that by her being an asshole towards Ari, she gave her ammunition and fuel to kind of spin that and portray her as just, again, you know, being... Especially the 2008 election, right? You know, I don't remember gay marriage being... Was it really that big of an issue back in two, the 2008 election? Maybe 2012, but I don't remember. And I mean, I was still a kid then. But, you know, again, it just kind of the thing there, what it ends up coming down to is just Ari, you know. Ari just gave – or Nicole gave Ari the ammunition she needed. So – hmm. 
And again, the tables turn, right, on a white woman. Again, they're supposed allies. And again, I, I will say, though, because let's put it this way. Well, first off, I mean, again, it's kind of the nature of, oh, I'm an ally. How do you do, fellow X group of people? It's like, again, you know, it's it, it, it's a weird thing. Because let's put it this way. The whole, oh, indifference. Because, like, there is a genuine argument to be made about, like, oh, indifference is participation. But the problem is kind of the line of thinking that leads to that. And then, like, where that ends up going to in the next steps you can take. Because then, again, that leads to the whole... Oh, you know, if you're not an ally, right? Or like, you know, uh, or again, if it's just participation, that's like, oh, at the end of the day, when, how small of it is a step? Or just, I guess, how big of it is, is a step for the next, you know, one to be like, oh, if you're not in our group, then you are still, it's like, it's like, all right, I mean, if, if you're an ally, you're still straight. I mean, you're still a straight person, you know, and you're still part of the population or group of people that is inflicting harm to us, even if you are an ally, right? You know, so that's something to where you need maybe need to either deal with your people, but you can't be around us, right? You know, th this is something more that happens along the lines of like racial conflict, I'd say, where it's like you can be a white person sympathetic to the black cause, but at the end of the day, you're still white. You know, again, versus I guess it's a lot more, there's more fluidity with sexuality because, like, I could claim I'm gay. You know, you wouldn't be, would you be able to refute that? Well, you would because I've said multiple times I'm straight, which I am. But it's something to where, again, you know, but the thing there is, all right, you know, like, good job on uh, these two for being uh, allies, right? But at the end of the day, you know, uh, are they just doing it? For their own moral, you know. Damn, how big is their high school? Holy shit. Like, yeah, that's why I'm like, damn, you know. Because everyone's an ally. So everyone has to prove themselves moral, you know. Because most of them are faking it. The GSA club? What the fuck is that? Hold on, what? What is the G... Hold on, what's the GS? I've never heard of that. I'm not even gonna lie. But the problem is, is Jekka really... Again, you know, Jekka is no option or no choice here. But this works out for Ari, Right? Again, and also because she treated her like an asshole, you know. Wait, hold on. Ari actually did that shit? Damn, fucking, you know. That's actually crazy. Not even gonna lie that she actually, it was Nicole. It was literally her. It was, but we know it was unlikely Nicole. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Gay straight alliance. But at the end of the day, an ally is again, again, you know, it's the the it's always where do you draw the line? So, like for example, I feel like race race is a lot easier, but it still applies to sexuality. Where it's like, let's say hypothetically, I'm gay. Let's say I had a straight friend who was an ally. All right, I mean, cool, you know, cool that they're an ally, cool that they support me and my people. But at the end of the day, they're not my people. So can I really kind of include them with us? And how do I know they have my best interests in mind when they're not my people? Maybe they're just trying to get, again, which is, that's why it's like, you know, oh, 500 signatures, chances are some of them either A, don't care, B, are legitimately homophobic, or C, just trying to get closer to whoever, right, and gain more influence that way. You know, it's it's kind of just the, our school would want those. I completely lied. It was more so because you're an asshole. Not even going to lie. Like, it's not It's not even that. I keep pausing. It's not even that Nicole rejected her. It's because she's an asshole. But that's just kind of who she is. 
So, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Ah. Oh. Okay, kind of facts, so not even gonna lie. Like Damn, pretty extreme. Sensitivity. Yeah, hold on. Wait, what? We just I bitch just write the fucking letter. Just hold on. Just write the. Just write the letter, dude. Like, bro, dude, Kyler ain't no way he's gonna. Dude, ain't no way fucking Kyler is gonna try to get it out of this dude. This dude's like the most homophobic out of like anyone. There's no way he's gonna try to actually like get in on this. Oh my god, he's. <clears throat> dude, ah. Oh. Dude, not even gonna lie, this actually puts Kyle. I keep fucking pausing this. This puts Kyler in a really fucking strong position here. Because, like, if he's gonna be the one who's like, oh, you know, I don't view you this way, like, he can versus, like, you know, us versus the whole world, right? He actually has, like, leverage and manipulation over Nicole there. So. Bro, dude, this, dude. That's a hundred percent fucking remember Mr. White in class of 09, where he basically had the fucking um what is it? It was like the uh I don't remember. It was it was like not the KKK, but it was like the fucking like you know, white like something. I don't know. But dude, this is like the equivalent of that. Dude, I swear to god, if Jeffrey is fucking in this, I I can't keep pausing this. Dude. Dude, I swear to god, if Jeffrey is in this, I'm I, that's gonna be hilarious. Like At the end of the day, though, Nicole doesn't really have another option, you know, since she's public enemy number one, you know. John McCain. Is, is, hold on, is John McCain dead? I'm pretty sure. Oh, Jesus Christ, I can't keep pausing this. He's like, all right, you know. Bro, what? Dude, it's fucking dude gave up lacrosse for the straight club. Oh, fucking of course Jeffrey Jeffrey and Braxton oh my god projector oh my god bro Jeffrey I'm straight okay Jeffrey listen Dude, this kid, this dude's giving his whole backstory. Oh my god! <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, an alliance between fucking Jeffrey and then fucking you know, Jesus Christ, what's his name? You know. Dude, Jeffrey and Kyler Alliance is like nothing I I I never anticipate. Well, this is gonna be a crazy statement. Do you really control what you like and enjoy? Like the obviously you don't control, you know, your sexuality, right? Like I'm straight, you know, I'm I'm just fucking like woman. I don't know what else to say, I just do. Like, but you can make the argument, it's kind of the, it's the whole nature versus nurture thing. If, does your, how much does your situation growing up affect who you are? Because your interests and in what you like are a part of that. You know, like, again, you know, it, it's something to where it's like, the, the impact that that has on you, how much control over that do you really have? You know, so like, for example, you know, a good way to put it is, you know, like, again, your people are very similar to the parents and, you know, they're a product of how they are treated in the environment they grew up in. So, like, you know, 
I, I talked about politics, right? You know, where it's like most people are just, you know, the same as their parents, right? You know, but when it comes to like interests, right? You know, like most people take after the interests of their parents, or at least, you know, more so their parents are more inclined to share their interests with their kids. Not saying Jeffrey's parents, you know, with anime, right? But there would be some reason as to why he would get into that. You know, if whether it be either a friend who, let's say, you know, he was with, right, uh, when he was younger, when he was kind of impressionable, you know, or let's say some online fort, which means he has internet access, you know, and a computer readily available to use. So versus if he didn't, right, would he be the way he is, right, again, you know, so... All right. Yeah, because also, like, let's be real here. Like, gay guys, like, lots of them hang out with, like, just mostly women, right? You know, that's kind of how it is. So, like, again, like, because what Jeffrey's saying makes sense, you know, granted, you know, he's still weird as shit and that doesn't make him a good person. But what he's saying makes sense. But it's also like, yeah, you know, wait, then why the fuck is straight club? Why not be gay? It's like, oh, I, I get nervous around women. It's like, all right, all right, it, it, it clicks, you know. Oh my god. Movie night, bro. I movie night, bitch. Hold up. Bro, Mr. White. Oh my god, dude. Dude. Dude, I swear to god, it has to be Mr. White. It has to be Mr. White. Dude, I want to see his ass strong. Oh, dude, that's worse. Oh, my God. Fucking cunt, dude. This is fucking crazy. I'm not even gonna lie. This kid, dude, I, I like the re-up more than the original, dude. It just, the, oh, this is so fucking crazy. Bitch, I swear to God, Nicole needs to get the fuck out of that room now, bro. With Cole's Colby there, and they're done for. Oh, but that, that's actually fucking hilarious. But I'm gonna say, because, like, you know, I'm, I'm a straight white male, right? You know, I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm proud of who I am. Granted, that's more so due to what I've done in my own accomplishments rather than, let's say, my race, gender, and or sexuality, right? You know, like, I mean, yeah, I like women. Yeah, I'm white. Yeah, I'm, you know, a male. Like, all right, you know, it is what it is. Like, that's what I was born as, you know. I'm more proud of, like, what I've done with my life. But it's something to where it's not like I'm ashamed to be who I am. Like, you know, I feel like th there are a lot of people who are like, oh, how do you do, fellow? Like, oh, I'm an ally, you know. Oh, I'm I'm I, I'm ashamed of my... And it's like, all right, I mean, hey, are you sucking up and trying to, like, take advantage of whatever group you're pretending to feign allegiance to? Or B, you know, do you just hate yourself that much, right? <laughs> you know, it's something... It, it's more so just like... Because, like, I mean, the whole pride thing, the, the whole thing with, like, gay pride and, like, pride with whatever else is that you are bringing, what would you call it? I guess it's more of an awareness. It's like you are bringing awareness and you are bringing sort of attention, but also it's more of a unification thing, right? It's more like unifying under whatever group uh, versus, like, you know, kind of acting as, I guess, the straight as the majority group straight, right? You know, like, I mean... I don't know what percent what the percentage, but like straight people are still the majority. Um, white people, I believe, are still the majority in America. I have no clue. Elsewhere, obviously, it's a different case. But um, and then men, women, roughly 50-50. Uh, so that doesn't really, you know, matter as much. It's just it, like that's why it's not as big of a deal of a whole men versus women thing versus like, let's say, you know, sexuality or like race, where there's a lot more disparity. Dude, cool. dude. Oh. Dude, bro, get out of there, Nicole. Get out of there. Uh, Coach COVID, dude, get out of there. I swear to God, bro. Dude, I... <sighs> Hold on. Wait. American History X, isn't that the one fucking movie that, like, was shown to FDR in the White House that was actually, like, basically, like, Nazi ideals? I have no fucking clue. But I'm pretty sure that's what they're referring to. 
I think it was a KKK movie. I, I just, I, I genuinely don't remember. Um, dude, you have the call. You got to get out of there, bro. It was a hundred, a hundred percent. I'm pretty sure it was the KKK one, but I genuinely don't remember. So hold on. Let me, cause this is, hold on. Let me just Google this. American history X is this is an actual thing. Okay, I was completely wrong. 1998 American crime drama directed by Tony K. Um, so yeah, I was completely fucking wrong. It has an 8.584 and by a 62. All right, two brothers from Los Angeles who are involved in the white power skin and neo Nazi movement. Uh, all right, so this is all right, so this is an actual movie though. For, for whatever reason, I was confused. What was the movie that was like the KKK one that was shown to the White House? I don't remember that one. So, damn. So it's like, bro, dude, Nicole has to get the fuck out of there. Damn, freaking. But again, you know, I keep pausing this. It, again, it's the whole not all versus all, right? If there is a – because, again, you know, obviously, like, it's more so – to be fair, Nicole kind of deserved it. She was being an asshole to Ari. But obviously, you know, Coach Colby is saying, like, oh, you know, all gay. But that's also, like, you just hate gay people. But let's let's spin it around, right? Are all cops bad? You know, ACAP, Right. Is all of a certain group, is all white people bad? Are all men bad? You know, do you, at one point, do you extend not all, some are good versus none, right? Or at one point, do you go from, oh, they are, it's an individual versus systemic? Because if you're upholding a system, even if you're not actively participating, or, again, it's kind of like, is indifference participation? Again, the, it is a, where do you draw the line? Because people, let's say you are watching this and you are a cop, or I guess, let's say you're watching this and you're part of a group of people that people hate. No matter how much you suck up or, you know, no matter how much you try to act or, I guess, be an ally or, let's say, you know, try to, I guess, try to remedy, they'll still think you're bad. You know, ACAP, right? All white people are bad. All men are bad. All straight people are bad. Right, you know, whatever extension or X group of people you want to name, all of them are bad. So why do you really bother trying to get the approval of people who are think you think are gonna be bad regardless, right? But so but kind of the point, you know, that's being shown here, right, is just more of a lack of compromising. It's obviously Coach Colby A is a pedo, so don't fucking listen to what he says. B, he's saying it about, you know, like the gays or whatever, which is just homophobic. But it, it does raise the question, where do you draw the line between some people are good versus none are, or some people are bad versus all are, right? You know, so you can't just assume that it is an individual thing more so than just what group of people you fall into, you know? Hey, what? Hey, what, what's her address? It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Dude, what the fuck is going on here, bro? Yeah, he's like, dude, I got it. Yeah, it's like, you stupid. Bro, dude, this is going to be, hold on. What was it in the original class of all night where they like blew up the school? Bro, some cheap ass fucking. It's like, hey, roll him up, roll him up. Hey, where the fuck is Jeffrey? Bro, Jeffrey. Oh my god, wait. Yeah, Jeffrey's like, what the? Oh. Anime? Fucking dude. That's like his third. This is actually. Oh my god. Hey, Drake and Josh. How do they? Well, you don't even know. Okay, actually, not even a lot. She does know where she lives. 
bro, dude, the gym coach, you can't fucking be with him, bro. Like, uh, 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 uh. Damn, freaking dude, you got, bro, you should get checked out. Yeah, it's like, it's like, uh, and how does this, like, affect me? Like, impossible. Yeah, Jack is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, A cap, am I right? You know. Whose houses are these? Because these are actual people's houses. How the fuck did you get to Ari's place before they did? Bitch fucking slow ass drivers. Jesus. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. All right, all right. Yeah, that's. Bitch, they watching the same episode? The straight pride club, bro. Dude, Coach Colby, bro. I swear to God. To be fair... Nicole hasn't shown, you know, any empathy regarding anyone else in the whole game. So, like, Ari does bring up a point to where it's like, why the fuck would Nicole care about anyone else besides her? There, and then there's, there is where, there is where Nicole's self-interest comes into play. Damn this. She's like half sexual with me right now. Dude, I. Oh. Yeah, fucking dumbass. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, though. Damn. But she's like. But she's kind of sexy, though. So I'm not even going to lie. Like. In, again, hold on. I'm gonna. Well, all right. We're about to end this anyway. I just want to see the outcome of this route. Ari, again, Ari. This is probably the first time someone's really went after Nicole. This I, I find this very interesting. This is the first time in both the original class of 09 as well as this one that someone's really kind of went after Nicole for who she is. She just gen. She's just kind of a blatant, like you know, psychopath or sociopath. She just doesn't care about anyone else but herself. And she seems to care about nothing other than actively, like, kind of ruining people's lives. Um, Which, again, is mostly due to her own situation. But obviously, that doesn't mean she's a good person or excuse it. But again, you know, this is the first time we've really seen someone call Nicole out for everything she's done. You know... Damn, freaking. This is some crazy statements. Dude, this is a crazy. Yeah, it's like you do not need this. Damn. Bitch, you are one. What the fuck? Oh. What is a Super 8? Am I an idiot? What the fuck is a Super 8? What is that like? I'm so... Damn. Like, dude, they went through with it, bro. Is that fucking Crispin?
Damn. So this is crazy. The tables have turned. Really, now Ari has all the power over Nicole versus the inverse, right? Hey, we have a black president, bro. Like, But again, Nicole kind of only has herself to blame because she was being an asshole to Ari to begin with. Damn. So, but we, so it looks like we got, we got two endings. 91 SMS update to your service request. Approximate wait time for your police officer arrivals one hour. Please find a safe location until your first responder arrives to assist you with the arson hate crime. Text the, the receiver and apply stop. Uh, so, and again, because like here, here's the thing, right? When it comes to like police, like, because this is what it comes down to, right? And again, this is where you need to question the perspective of the people who created the game. Because, I mean, to be fair, they did in with that sequence from Ari is really the first time we've seen someone call Nicole out on who she just fundamentally is. Despite what she's been through, she's still a horrible person, which Ari is really the first person we've seen kind of call her out for. Because Jekka, I mean, she'd kind of somewhat do it. But still, like, be friends with her. But, like, Ari actually was just like, you are a terrible human being. Like, that's the first time we've really seen that. But, again, you know, it it still raises the question of the mod careers. Like, do they hate the police that much? Like, actually, you know, all right, I mean, cool. Like, I hate it. Well, I don't want to say I hate the police, you know. It's, but it's something to where it's like, it's not something you're going to be able to change people's minds on anyway, right? You know, the the reality is like, and I don't understand why people get so invested in like debates and shit. It's like, you're not going to change anyone's mind. You know, if the careers of this like actually genuinely hate the police, you know, cool. Like, so be it good for them, right? You know, whatever helps them sleep at night. You know, I don't want to say I do, right? You know, I wouldn't make that extension. I've joked about it, but it's also just kind of more like a practical reality, right? Kind of like, you know, the military, but then it's also like, and again, you get into the different arguments like, oh, it's a systematic issue. Uh, we need to defund or, you know, we need to transform. But that's like, oh, no, all of them are terrible human beings. And they only go to that job because they want power and authority over other individuals. Right. Aiken. Again, you know, it, it raises those various questions, you know, and who knows? Right. You know, people have differing opinions, outlooks and beliefs. Right. You're not going to really be able to change it. You know, that's just kind of the nature of it. You know, humans are stubborn. You know, let's put it that way. I'm stubborn. You know, like if you were our random person listening to this and you disagree with what I think, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to change the way I think. That's just how it is. Right. Likewise, from me to you, you know, like I, I mentioned in the last one, what I voted for fucking Trump in 2020. If you voted for anyone else, you know, we're just. I mean, I'm not going to, chances are you're not going to convince me and I'm not going to convince you on, you know, uh, changing, right? Or, you know, on the inverse of that, you know, that's just how it is. You know, that's how those divisions work. Uh, but, you know, again, it does, it does raise that question though. But I will say, honestly, I'm liking and just kind of the end this because it's been a long time, you know, it's been an hour. Like I normally don't make these recordings this long. But what I will say is, I do think it's it's very interesting, and there is again it's very interesting, and I I this is again a not only am I like this more I'm curious that there's only seven endings though and then one video, but it's also like this is really the first time we've seen the the biggest thing I got out of this was we actually saw someone call Nicole out for once, which we've never seen before. But yeah, you know with that I'm gonna hear. I don't really have anything else to say. So, yep. That's it for this one. See you in the next one.